Hi guys, hope you're having a great week. Uh, thinking about the opportunity for us to gather again this Sunday, I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to everyone who made this last Sunday our, our first step in coming together again, making that a success. I just, I thank you all. I thank you for everyone who served to make that possible. I thank those of you who are willing to walk by those guidelines that we asked in order for everyone to be able, you know, to be a part of that, I just want to say thanks. It was really good to be able to see some of you again. Um, in fact, I want you to, to listen to uh, one experience uh, from last Sunday. Take a listen and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what will change for this next week. Hi, I'm Lori Hernandez. Throughout this coronavirus COVID-19 scare, um, I have been very cautious because I have some family members that are at higher risk. So we have not been in crowds. Um, I've not done the Walmart thing. We've just basically tried to stay at home. So when they ask us to come back to church, I was fairly leery. Um, I knew I had missed worshiping together, so I really wanted to go back, but I didn't know. So I decided to give it a try, and I was beyond impressed with all the safety measures they took to make us feel at ease and comfortable and make us welcome. I was so impressed, matter of fact, that I called my daughter right away and said, I think it is a safe place to bring your baby. So hopefully this coming Sunday, I will be able to worship with even more of my family members, and I am very excited to go back. I love that because honestly, that really was our goal in why we did what we did last week. It was to provide that opportunity for people to feel safe in being there. Now, you still have to decide what is best for you and your family. And I'm telling you, it's okay. For those of you who are still uh, taking these steps slowly, we're, we're going to be live. It's great to be able to gather that way. Uh, but for those of you who are ready to take that next step and gather, we're going to look forward to seeing you this week. One of the changes we're going to make um, re regards the mask. Now, we are still going to request that you would wear a mask on your way in and back out of the building. Uh, this, that's just as traffic is passing back and forth, it's just a little thing that we can do, again, to put people at ease. But once you are seated in, in the room, uh, we want you to feel the freedom to be able to remove that mask. It makes it easier to sing and to celebrate. Uh, it, it's a little adjustment, but, but I think it, it makes a big deal in terms of just how you feel. So wearing it in and out, but then not having to wear it while you're actually during that hour of worship. So everything else, we're asking you to continue to park where they ask you to park, wait for them to, to lead you in and out. Uh, all those guidelines will still be in play. The distancing, that is important. We want to continue to practice the six feet, so the seating will, will still be done that way. And we're going to do it because, again, we love each other, and we want to provide the opportunity to do that. So. Don't forget, go online, make your reservation. Uh, that's one of the things we're just going to have to do for a few weeks. We don't want too many people in the room at one time, and so by making a reservation at 9 or 11, it lets us uh, be prepared for that, and again, we'll do it the right way. Thank you, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.